What's up guys? I know that I'm off of my upload schedule today, but um, the reason being, just like I said, the weather and just a few other factors, but hey, at least I'm making the video for you guys now. Um, some good news is I finally found my GoPro, so that means I can go back to making like more car vlog discussion videos like you guys seem to like. Um, Cause you know, doing it with a phone is kind of difficult when you're driving a stick shift. So yeah, in this video, I wanted just to go over a few things I have planned for the cars and for videos and see what you guys think. So my first idea is that um, maybe this weekend or possibly the following, um, I wanted to pick up some new spark plugs for the Evo and um, run a compression test on the Evo and the M3 and maybe even the Forester, but that car's a little bit more of a hassle to do, I think. Um, you know, the spark plugs being all on the side of the motor. And um, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. I used to have a compression tester and then um, my garage got like reorganized and I haven't been able to find it since. I used it once on the Evo a long time ago before I did the big turbo and um, haven't seen it since. So um, the Evo is still running great. I just feel like it would be interesting, you know, while I'm doing plugs to um, see where the motor is at health wise over a year later since I did the build. Um, because one of the reasons for the build um, is just, you know, now I feel like that my car is sort of um, showing the community a little bit more like what the 4B11 can handle and what it's capable of. So I feel like I'm going to kind of try to document a little bit better, um, like updates of the car and where it's at and how it's performing and everything. So I can go really quickly and tell you guys that um, so far I haven't had any problems with the car, um, luckily. The only issue I had was completely my fault. Um, I had not worked on my cars for about seven months. So I was a little bit rusty and I was doing my oil change on the Evo and um, wanted to take off my brand new Gretti magnetic drain bolt, which was made out of aluminum. So it was already a very soft metal. And long story short, I stripped that bolt completely. So we tried everything to get the bolt off of the car couldn't get it off so ultimately I had to buy a whole new um, OEM oil pan I was gonna potentially upgrade it but I figured that I'll stick with OEM at this point I really don't care I don't think I'll need to go any bigger um, so I did that and while the oil pan was off I think I still have the footage or maybe I'll, um, I'll upload it into this video if I can think of it um, we looked at like sort of the internals of like, like what we could see from the oil pan and everything looked really good in the motor um everything looked solid so i was really happy to see that and this was um quite like i was about like two three months ago now which is crazy to think so um yeah like i said it's just when i drive the evo i'm usually doing a pull or two every time i take it out just because it's kind of like what i built the car for it's a fun enjoyable fast car but um i do still i've been trying to daily drive the car a lot more I've been trying to get more on a schedule of driving all of my cars um, at least once a week because for I was usually driving the Evo um, quite a few times a week and then like a month ago I just kind of stopped because it was just so much easier to hop in the Forester but I need to get back to driving that car multiple times a week like I was so I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing that again because I've been driving it every single day this week aside from today and I just really enjoy driving that car so um yeah i'll be doing that it'll give me a good opportunity to film more videos but yeah that's pretty much my plan like i said i mean i know you guys are wondering about the evo i know a lot of rumors that it blew were going around the internet while i was away so um yeah like I, said, I just want to help kind of clear some things up and help the evo community kind of see more about how the car is doing and everything like that so um hopefully i would get good results when i do the compression test um but you know even if God forbid the results were not good. I would still be pretty impressed that, you know, almost a year and a half after doing the build, after all the hard miles I put on that car, that it still hung in there and never has given me any like trouble or broken down on me. I'd still be pretty impressed with that. So, all right guys, I'm gonna keep this video short. Um, I am really looking forward to doing the plugs and the test on this, on the M3 and then on the Evo. Um, now it seems like the rain spell has gone away, so I can finally get the M3 washed. It's filthy right now. And once I get that washed, I can go ahead and um, finally do the M3 update video 
and now I have my GoPro, get back doing some of the Evo vlogs that you guys seem to like so much. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed and looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one.